I just wanted to say I'm sorry for losing my cool last week concerning the budget. Uh, it's okay, sir. Really. Oh, great. Well, I suppose you better now tell me about the rest of the season and exactly where all my money will be going, yes? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ah, uh... <laughs> great. Now, tell me about episode two. Well, we're going to start where we left off, and Galadriel is still swimming. <laughs> oh, she is a trooper. And Frodina and Samantha are bickering over whether or not they should save the Comet Man. Hold on, now why are they bickering? Wouldn't any normal human be happy to help another human in need? These are Harfoots, sir, not normal people. Oh. Well, I'm assuming they're treating the situation very seriously. It's not every day a man in a comet falls right next to you. No. Oh, instead they treat it like a stray dog they found one afternoon. <laughs> Sir, humor is a great way to make characters relatable. You know what else is a great tool? What? Compassion. Sir, they didn't have compasses back then. <laughs> Now, Armalas and Bronwyn are investigating a nearby town, and they discover nobody's left in town, and it's been destroyed. Scary! And Armalas decides to go inside the hole. Oh, 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 we cannot show any of that. Not in a Lord of the Rings property. No, that's a little inappropriate for the children. Sir, sir, let me finish. He decides to go in the hole underneath the house and see where it leads to. Oh! So Armalas leaves Bronwyn to follow it. Oh, plot progression. I love it. And Kellen Brimbor unveils a plan to build the biggest forge ever seen. Why? You will have to wait, sir. What's that? Oh, JJ let me borrow it. Who? JJ, the director of The Rise of Skywalker. Give me that. So Elrond and Kellen Brimbor have a quick stroll to Khazad Doom. A stroll? Yeah, I saw on a map. It's only like a fingertip away. You do realize that the scale of such a journey is significantly longer in real life. Really? So they arrive at Khazad Doom. Great. And Elrond invokes the right to Sigin Tarag. What's that? It's a competition to see who can break the most rocks with a hammer. Seems like a very primitive way for two highly sophisticated societies to settle their differences. Bang, bang, smashy, smashy. Oh, oh, bang, bang, smashy, smashy. Yes, yes, yes. So the competition goes for a really long time and the dwarves, they keep bringing in more and more rocks to smash. Wait, is this a common occurrence here? Even Kellen Brimbo didn't know what Sigin Tarag was. Are you telling me the dwarves just have all these spare rocks just waiting and ready to go in case an elf comes by and declares Sig and Tarag any time of the day? And then we cut to the Harfoots. Ah, uh, Sir? I mean great. And the Comet Man is drawing a strange symbol. What symbol? Well, it... Sir, can I have my box back? You're gonna have to wait, sir. Oh, you. Frodina's father breaks his ankle. How? Contrived events. Great. And Galadriel comes across a raft. And how is she dealing with hypothermia, dehydration, and exhaustion? St stop making up words, sir. I'm not falling for it. No, Sh I'm not gonna fall for it. Oh. But Galadriel's first instinct is to kill her saviors. <laughs> I hate her so much. And now, the survivors are attacked by the worm. The worm? A big sea creature. It destroys the raft. I see. Using the budget on spectacle that doesn't move the plot forward. I, I respect your balls. And we meet Halbrand. Why did you sound so sinister when you said his name? Did I? Yes. Really? Wait. Is he... Elrond forfeits the match, and Durin approaches him and says, A dog may bark at the moon, but it cannot bring it down.
Am I paying you to write these lines? Durin confronts Elrond for missing 20 years of friendship, missing his marriage, missing the birth of his children. It's a really touching moment. Wait, wait, stop. Your writing is a little too good here. You might want to tone it down a little bit. We don't want to give the fans too much of this or they might get used to it. And then we meet Durin's wife, Deesa, and we get more charismatic acting and fun dialogue here. No, 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 stop. Stop with the good writing. Go back to Galadriel. We learn that Halbran was chased from his home by orcs. And where is he from? And we see that he wears a sigil on his neck. What is the sigil? Halbrand returns the question to Galadriel and asks her why she is stranded. You haven't even told us why he is stranded there. Bezos is our lord. Bezos is our king. Bezos is our lord. Bezos is our king. Phenomenal storytelling. What's next? Armalas is kidnapped. Oh no! Bronwyn finds an orc in her home. Oh no! And then she finds that there's tunnels under her house. Oh no! Theo hides in a pantry from the orc. Why didn't he just run away? Because, sir, he's a moron. Great! The orc attacks Bronwyn, but she decapitates it to show her people. She decapitates it? Well, that's very violent of her. Very strong of her. Strong. Strong, strong. She's a strong woman. Yes, you're right. Galadriel and Halbran, they survive a storm. Why? Well, each episode needs to be about an hour long, and we need to find a reason to waste more of that budget. Waste? Use. Use some of that budget. Yes. The Harfoots. Ah, uh, not again. The Dwarves? Oh, yes! We meet Durin's father, Durin. Oh, there's two Durins. Well, I know the book fans won't like this. Isn't it just a name? Well, in the books, I... Durin's father tells him, you've always had sandstone in your granite, as far as the elves are concerned. And we see that Durin's father keeps a mystery box. Oh, you're very clever, aren't you? Theo touches his longsword. Inappropriate! No, sir, his longsword. The one he found last episode. Oh! And when his blood touches the sword, it reignites. Oh! So Theo and Bronwyn leave town. What about the sword? I have questions! And Galadriel and Halbrand come across a mysterious ship. Who is it? Cut to credits. Sir. I'm trying to be humble here, so you don't have to tell me how good it was. Well, are we going to get answers to all the questions you're igniting in the audience? Yes, I promise. When? I said when! When, damn you! Bezos is our lord. Bezos is our king. Bezos is our lord. Bezos is our king.